you beautiful souls and welcome to my channel. My name is Jay and I've got another pick a card reading here for you. Before we get started I'd just like to say a massive thank you for being here watching and I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers as well. You all really do mean an awful lot to me and a quick reminder that I have still got my free giveaway each month where one lucky subscriber who has commented on one of my videos will um, get a free reading with me. Okay, so we have three options here today, and we're going to be taking a look at your person's feelings, their thoughts, and if they're going to take any actions on what they are thinking and feeling at this time. Like I say, there are three options here. These are general readings. Just take whatever resonates for you and leave anything else then for other viewers who come along later. If you were interested in a personal reading, you can find the details to book a reading with myself in the description box below, as well as the decks that I have used for these readings as well. Okay, so let's get started. We have option number one, we have option two, and we have option three. If you need more time, then please pause the video here. Otherwise, we're going to get started and have a look at how they are feeling, thinking about you, and are they going to take any actions? Hi there group one and welcome to your reading. Okay, so we're going to have a look at your tarot cards and your major cards first and then we're going to have a look at the oracle cards for you as well. So we have the two of wands. This person could be at a distance from you. We have the knight of cups, very nice. And the eight of wands, beautiful. We have the world, so definitely could be distance, okay. Um, it has come under this two of Ones. I also think this person feels that you are their world, okay? They do think the world of you, and they very much got you on their mind at the moment. We have the Queen of Pentacles, lovely. And we also have the Queen of Swords, okay? For some of you, okay, you could be dealing with an age gap here. This person could be younger than you. Um, it doesn't have to be, okay? Or they could just be younger um, or have had less life experience than you. But I definitely feel this person does have romantic feelings for you and they are wanting to come towards you with some sort of romantic gesture and they have got this passion that they want to express with you as well. We've got the Eight of Wands, okay, so if you're not in communication, this does indicate that there is going to be communication coming towards you. It can also speak about travel as well and I do feel that for many of you this could be someone who is at a physical distance and they do want to travel towards you with some sort of love offer or romantic gesture here. This person sees you as somebody um, who is very stable, okay? They see you as somebody and feel that you are someone who is very nurturing, very grounded, okay? You know what you want and you know how to achieve it. I feel that you've got this very balanced energy about you as well. I also think this person um, feels that you're someone who is not prepared to put up with any nonsense either. I feel this person is... Um, they want to communicate with you their truth because maybe it's come a time now where that nothing else will do, okay? I think they know that you will not tolerate anything less than truth and that you can sense when they are being honest and truthful with you. For some of you, okay, there is a little bit of hesitation here. Perhaps they are afraid that you are going to cut them off should they make this approach to you. The Queen of Swords, you know, can have that ability to cut someone out of their lives if... Um, they're not bringing to the table what they desire. And with it coming under that Eight of Wands, it could, um, as I say, be causing a little bit of hesitation for this person wanting, in regards to reaching out to you, rather, um, because they're afraid you're going to cut them off. But nonetheless, I feel they do want to take this action. Okay, so your major arcanas, we have the Empress. This is Divine Masculine Energy. It's about authority, structure. Can be a stubborn energy. Can be a little bit guarded as well, okay? And then we've got the Empress. So this is Divine Feminine's energy. Nature, beauty, abundance and nurturing energy. Like I was saying, I definitely feel your person does feel this very nurturing energy with you. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is like the catch as well. She's the wifey of the um, tarot deck, okay? The long-term commitment, the loving um, family creator then. We do have, as I say, the Emperor and the Empress on the table. You could very well be dealing with your Divine Counterpart, your, your Deep Level of Soulmate, or even a Twin Flame, okay? I had to pause then just to get a little drink of water, and I noticed it was 444 that I paused, up, paused on. So you could be noticing these synchronised numbers, okay, particularly 444 or 1111, 222. Um, I don't feel that you and your person are picking up on each other's energy. 
the definitely a mutuality here is what I'm getting, okay? That you and your person have mutual feelings for each other. This isn't a one-sided connection. Your person could, as I say, be holding back a little bit. This could be through fears, okay? Or it could just be the physical distance between the two of you that is keeping you from one another at this time. This person sees you, as I say, someone who is very abundant, very nurturing, and they find you extremely attractive. They find your ability to speak the truth very attractive as well as what I'm getting here. Okay, let's have a look at your oracle cards as well now. We have new love. New love is coming in for you. Open your heart chakra and allow it in. I do feel your person is maybe feeling this new sense of love towards you. Like I was saying, the emperor can be very guarded, can be, um, you know, as this card is suggesting, all suited up in armour, much more um, about structure and authority than romantic feelings then can be. I'm a little bit closed off to that and I do feel your person is having this they're making some sort of a decision with this two of wands being here and it looks like that decision is to come towards you with some sort of romantic offer they are choosing love is what I feel here they are finally opening up to that possibility we have finances and career so financial issues are a factor in your love life right now you know it is a trying time for a lot of people at the moment in regards to that and you know the emperor energy again it could be um you know male or female it doesn't matter you know if you're a masculine watching or a feminine watching um, but i feel your person is embodying the emperor energy and you are more of the empress energy and they could be very focused on their careers right now okay this could be a way of avoiding their feelings but it's also about building up that that solid structure that um firm foundation to build on with because as i say they see you as the queen of pentacles someone who's got it all together someone who really does have the full package and they could be more of the knight kind of energy right now there's this opportunity progression is what i'm feeling with your person we have honeymoon here, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So your person does, I feel, want to either travel to you or travel with you. Um, this card, again, can speak about distance. So I do feel for many of you there's a physical distance in this connection. I feel your person wants to bridge that gap here. They do want to move closer together with you and they do want to enjoy your company. It's not very often we get the emperor and the empress um, next to each other, okay, and... There was only two cards drawn and those were the two cards that came through and I feel that is a really strong signifier here for you. We have be flexible. Perhaps your person in the past has been very rigid, okay? Perhaps they have been um, very focused on their finances and career and not enough time for love. Um, I do feel your person has learned to be flexible. I also feel that you have learned to go with the flow as well. You are standing into this divine feminine energy, um, the energy of receiving. Perhaps in the past you've been chasing this connection, okay? Um, and I feel that has come to a stop for you. But I definitely feel there's going to be this... Um, I feel there's a, a dropping of the armour for your person. We have liberation. Beautiful. So freeing themselves from something. Whatever it was that was keeping this person guarded. You know, for some of you, okay, this could be third party. We do have two queens on the table. But it doesn't have to be, okay. Could even be um, an outside influence such as a friend. It could be just limiting beliefs that your person has, okay? For some of you, I'm also picking up that this could be more of a mother energy that is um, causing friction within the connection. Perhaps um, it's your mother or their mother, okay? But I am picking up a little bit of that as well. But there's definitely this liberation. There's going to be this flexibility and this freeing from this, um, <coughs> excuse me, perhaps it is just self-imposed restrictions here. So now we have some written messages from your person for you. We have, I don't deserve you. So this definitely could be those self-limiting beliefs, okay? Perhaps your person was very guarded because they see you as this empress, because they see you as this queen of pentacles, and how are they going to match up to that? Perhaps that is why they were afraid to open up their heart chakra in the past. But as this card suggests here, this new love card, there is that opportunity. Your person is softening, is what I feel. And they start to realise their own power, their own destiny if you like okay um but their own outside of the norm then perhaps this person isn't someone who's used to exploring love to the depths of this okay and this has brought up these fears for your person is what i feel i know we are spiritually connected i'm sorry that i ever doubted you or us beautiful 
I am trying to find my true self. Who am I? Beautiful again. So like I was saying, perhaps this person has been triggered by this connection, okay, to realise who they really are outside of their comfort zone, behind the the armour of this emperor energy here. And maybe they are stepping more into their divine feminine energy at this time as well, through this self-discovery. But this person is going through some sort of transformation and a death of ego perhaps is occurring here. The healing is almost complete. I just need more time to find the courage. This is wonderful. This is kind of like what this reading is suggested. I do definitely feel this person wants to communicate with you. They want to speak their truth. They want to make this romantic gesture to you. There is hesitance here. And there is a little bit of fear here. So they are working through this transition of realising who they are on a soul level. Of dropping the armour. Standing more perhaps into divine feminine energy. And not such... Um, Rigid energy is what I feel from them, very um, guarded and rigid energy and realising that they can soften that and still feel secure is what I'm getting for a lot of them and I do feel that they do want to communicate with you and they will when they get this courage here. Okay, so the, your final card then is this beautiful image that you actually chose for your reading and this is clarity. The truth of the situation is being unveiled bringing you clarity. Beautiful. I feel this person is getting clarity and I feel that you are going to achieve this mental clarity as well, this Queen of Swords. Perhaps you are already here. Perhaps you understand what's going on behind the scenes within this connection. And I feel this person is bringing you this clarity as well. Um, as I say, I do feel they're going to make some sort of an approach, some sort of romantic gesture, um, passionate messages perhaps, bridging the distance between you as I say I feel for many of you it's a physical distance but it could just be that emotional distance they want to bridge that gap with you and I feel your person is realizing who they are okay they are achieving this clarity here allowing for their heart chakra to open up and allowing for this connection to come into balance is what I feel here and um, in the near future you are going to be sure and you're going to know exactly what it is you want, where this connection is going, the truth of the situation is being revealed for you, Group 1. So that has been your reading. I hope it's been helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you. And if you want to give a like, share, subscribe, I'd really appreciate that as well. And I'll see you in another reading. Take care. Bye. Hi there, Group 2, and welcome to your reading. Okay, so let's have a look. We have your tarot cards here and your major arcana. And we also have your oracle cards, which we will take a look at in just a minute. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, beautiful. This person sees you as someone who is very abundant, someone who's got it together, very nurturing, kind of like the minor arcana version of the Empress. Also sees you as someone who is very independent. Perhaps you are self-employed and you're doing well, or you are just doing well in your career in general. But they definitely see you as somebody who has a lot to offer. We have the Six of Swords here. So we have Earth Energy and we also have... Um, Air energy on the table here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. This person, um, I feel, wants to move away from any choppy water. So if there has been difficulties in the connection, I feel they want to move into a karma time at this time. It could also be okay for some of you that this person has moved away from the connection for the time being. Okay, perhaps things, um, for some of you, okay, it could have just been out of nowhere. It could have just, you know been overnight kind of thing and for others of you there could have been some turbulence and this person has kind of gone away for a while to be more independent and to find their own um, abundance at this time. We'll take a look further obviously. We have the moon so a lot of things are hidden here. There are perhaps secrets your person hasn't revealed everything that's going on for them at this time. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces with this card being here as well. This card is also about learning to trust in your intuition. So um, having faith in your abilities at this time, okay, to listen to your intuition. And your person is learning that as well. We have the star, beautiful. This is Aquarius' is energy. They definitely feel there is a lot of hope for this connection and that in the future is what I'm getting here. There is definitely a chance um, for you to be together, for you to be individually together. I feel you're very individual and independent people and there could even be like a little bit of a power struggle here as well. Um, but there's that blending is what I'm feeling. Your person wants to blend the energies. Um, the star is also about healing. So again, like I was saying, if there have been some troubled times in this connection, this person does want that healing. They want to take it over to a karma, see where Treasure Island is, where all the good stuff is. It's a very positive card to have here. 
we have the seven of cups your person is feeling very confused about this at this time for some of them okay they could be thinking this is a bit too good to be true the star is about wish fulfillment the moon illusions okay um this person could be thinking this connection you know maybe it's not real okay maybe they've never felt this way before um it's also about choices as well your person sees that you have many choices because you are this very beautiful nine of pentacles energy and the star energy this magical healing energy that they feel from you and this independent and this nurturing energy they know that you have many options here we also have the seven of wands okay so we have seven 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 could definitely be of significance for you Seven of Wands can speak about defensive behaviour. It's come under the moon, so I don't think your person is fully revealing the extent of their feelings for you or perhaps the confusion that is brought up within them, okay? Um, perhaps they have just ghosted you for some of them as for some of you as well. I feel this is defensive behaviour. I also feel that perhaps you have stood your ground with this person with the Seven of Wands, and I feel this person underneath it all okay um underneath the mask that perhaps your person is wearing they want to fight for this connection they do want this connection it just perhaps now isn't the right timing is what i'm getting perhaps this person does need to move away from this connection at this time to find more of their true self okay to do their own inner healing so that you can come back around and fight for each other is what i feel here Okay, so with regards to your major arcanas now, we have the temperance card, balance, patience, healing, purpose and divine. Number 14, Sagittarius could be significant. Very similar energy to the star, okay, it is about healing, um, it is about patience. I do feel this is a divine connection, um, temperance can indicate that it's being guided by your angels and your ancestors, your universe, whatever it is your belief system is here. Um, and it is about that patience, it's divine timing as I say. Things are unfolding and I think your person is finding a sense of balance within themselves. They could be doing a lot of reflecting at this time as well. It's a mirrored image here, perhaps you and your person both are aware that more time is needed, more patience are here but definitely both of you have this hope for the future with the star energy there and then we have the hermit soul searching alone time deep reflection inner guidance if your person has gone away okay i don't feel for most of you at least okay this is to chase other ideas or other opportunities be it people or situations okay i feel it's for them to reflect it's for them to learn who they are on a true level like i say perhaps this person doesn't have very good self-esteem okay and that's where this idea of this is too good to be true comes from they are going through a lot of changes transformations internally at the moment and a lot of soul searching they are finding more of their true self here and relighting their own passions with that fire being there Virgo's energy is represented as well with that hermit. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at your oracle cards. We have embrace. You will soon be able to hug and embrace your special someone. Beautiful. This person loves your um, <clears throat> your time together, okay? Um, particularly tactile time, okay? Perhaps you are a very tactile person. This person really does enjoy your touch and they do want to reach out and hug you. Like I say, do feel more time is involved here, but you are, if you're going to have this opportunity um, to hug one another, to come into one another's energies once more. We have unrequited love here. There is not enough love, sorry, not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel that this is your person's fear. I feel your person is someone who has a lot of self-esteem issues they see you and have almost put you on a pedestal okay how can they meet up to your standards how could you love them the same way that they love you when they're not feeling worthy of that they don't feel on the same page as you in regards to what you've achieved in life okay or whether it's within career i do feel they are feeling a little bit overshadowed by your success perhaps it's your pop popularity perhaps it's how many friends you've got perhaps it's the way you nurture people your openness whatever it is i do feel there's a sense they don't quite feel on your level yet and this is triggering these fears within them which is why i feel that they have not revealed everything why they are perhaps ha acting defensively and perhaps have gone into this hermit mode to realize who they truly are okay so they could be showing this unrequited love towards you as well but this is what i feel for most of you it's their ultimate fear is that they won't be as loved as much as they love you. 
we have you deserve love you are lovable this person knows your worth okay even if they don't show it they do know that you deserve this love this person wants to show you this love as well and i also feel it's nice in a way that it's come under this unrequited love because i feel your person is learning to love themselves more at this time and until they love themselves more and accept who they are and accept that they are enough then they're not going to be able to offer that externally either well we have divine timing here definitely a divinely led connection here and divine timing is playing a part here flying high like an eagle so you are going to get the opportunity the both of you to be free to be flying high to reach your full potential here i do feel this connection perhaps has triggered like i say definitely for your person okay to reflect and i also feel for you because as i say it's a mirrored image here to realise your own purpose within life, to realise um, your potential for healing and acceptance as well is what I feel here for who you are on a true soul level, for both you and your person allowing you to really stretch your wings and aim high. The eagle also flies above the clouds, okay? Doesn't fly into the storm, flies above and I feel you and your person are learning to do that. So your messages from your person, the barriers I have create the illusion of, of safety. And we have been speaking about illusions here, okay, and it is that we do have the seven of wands with the seven of cups. This person puts up barriers against love, okay, because they are afraid of this unrequited love. I want union with you very clear message there okay all in good time all in divine time and this person does want this connection with you they do feel this connection they do feel this pull seems very confusing for them it does bring up a lot of self-doubt and no doubt this is a mirrored um emotion within the two of you and yeah they're, they're finding that balance because ultimately they do want this with you in divine time and when they are feeling that they are a place where they are flying high perhaps you're already in this energy or coming into this energy and your person wants to be there too wow all in good time my dear one and that has actually come under the divine time and i do feel okay strong level of soulmate possibly even twin flame connection here and i've just gone really goosebumpy as i'm saying that and then we have this beautiful image that you actually chose the reading from and it says, I am. When you take away all the 3D material things, who are you really? Soul lessons for deeper understanding of your true self. Oh my gosh. And that is kind of what, you know, the soul journey is about soulmates and particularly deep level soulmates or um, twin flames. Okay, they do really show you who you are underneath everything that isn't truly you everything external to who you are on a soul level is revealed to you and i do feel this person as i say has gone away for this healing for this balance okay and to figure out who they really are if they take away all the material thing to realize they are enough it doesn't matter what job type they have or what brand of trainers they might wear for example these are silly examples but you know these things sometimes matter to people they are realizing they don't matter what really matters is who they are underneath them uh, underneath all of that stuff on a deeper level and having an understanding for their true self and i feel this person will reach out to you in divine timing and there is this opportunity for this beautiful embrace with one another in the near future so that has been your reading group too. I hope it's been helpful. Please let me know in the comments below um, if this resonates with you. And if you want to give a like, share, subscribe, I'd really appreciate that as well. And I'll see you in another reading. Take care. Bye. Hi there, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. Okay, so we have your tarot cards, and we shall take a look at your oracle cards in just a moment. What is your person thinking and feeling about you at this time, and are they going to take any action? Okay, so we have lovers starting out our reading. Beautiful. This is card number six. It's also representative of Gemini energy. Could mean something to you, but don't worry if it doesn't. We also have the nine of cups. So water's energy here. Um, Pisces, Scorpio and Cancer. Wish fulfillment. Okay, dreams coming true here. Um, the lovers energy, that deep soul connection, soulmate. This person does have deep emotions for you. We have the eight of pentacles, which is actually really nice as well with earth energy we have the set uh, six of swords i almost saw seven of swords then so six of swords which is actually nicer than the seven of swords we have the knight of swords beautiful air energy here to um libra gemini and aquarius and we have the empress energy beautiful this person sees you okay as um, a very nurturing energy a very kind energy um someone that could definitely 
and um, offer them a deep loving connection something with the potential of growth here and um, i do feel your person wants to work on your connection they want to work on opening up their heart chakra perhaps okay or allowing this love to grow for some of you this could be someone that you've recently met others of you okay it could be a longer term um connection here but i do feel there's an intense level of love the empress itself is representative of love and we also started with the lover's energy so that's really beautiful this person could right now be working very hard okay to build um on this coin okay they could be learning new skills as well when it comes to perhaps career but also when it comes to how to how to allow love perhaps okay or how to grow love how to um be in a relationship okay but they're having new experiences and i also feel you're learning new experiences as well and um, is divine feminine energy as well so like i say they do see you as someone who's very nurturing the empress is um sort of like the embodiment of the four queens so she's the empath, she's um, very loyal, she speaks her truth, she knows what she wants, she stands her ground and she goes after it. She's a very um, beautiful, high vibing energy and that's how your person feels and thinks about you. They do want to come swooping in towards you with this Knight of Swords energy, okay? They want to come rushing towards you. Perhaps this person does struggle a little bit with their communication, perhaps they can be a little bit blunt or perhaps the communication sort of comes in and goes out again. Um, this person definitely does see you as the dream girl or dream man okay with um, the nine of cups being here they do see the value in this connection and they do believe it could bring them um a deep level of fulfillment with the lovers here okay now the lovers sometimes can talk about a choice okay but what i really feel here is the intensity of love that you and your person feel for one another it is a mutual love okay and this angel here is kind of like guiding these um people in the cards here as well six is the number about harmony and balance as well so i do feel that there is an opportunity for balance and your person's i feel that your person more so perhaps than the previous groups is more balanced in the head and the heart space is what i really feel here with the six of swords okay this person could have tried to move away from the connection okay perhaps the intensity of the connection the fact that you were actually the one as far as they are concerned i'm um, scared this person they could have tried to move away from the connection but what i also feel now is they've learned some lessons if they have done that okay um, and actually want to come rushing on in with the knight of swords energy here now okay so let's have a look at your master uh, your major sorry and zodiac signs we have aries so Aries could be significant, okay, the time, or this could be um, your person's energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, or Mercury. Okay, could be very impatient, okay, perhaps in the per with the Knight of Swords, this person could be feeling a little impatient about coming in towards you right now. Perhaps they do want to go a little quicker than you would like to go in this case, okay. But I also feel this person is someone who's very confident, passionate, and they are going to come towards you with passion, and a very optimistic person as well. Perhaps it takes a lot for this person um to to give up then okay they're a fighter is what i feel and i feel that's also your energy as well can be a little bit impulsive though okay with the aries energy combination with the knight of swords as well and then we have virgo's energy so this again could mean something to you um but i do feel this person is someone who is loyal hard working okay very hard working is shown here with the eight of pentacles working hard on their finances and career but also wanting to work in this connection um uh, work on this connection with you can be a little bit um all work and no play okay so maybe that is something that has caused um friction within the connection okay not necessarily but they could be a little bit um all work and no play perhaps this person is struggling to find <coughs> excuse me at the moment they could actually be you know working to avoid the connection as i've said for some of you and they could be putting all their effort into that um i do feel that they are going to sort of come rushing in towards you with some sort of communication it could as i say be quite light-hearted communication for some of you it could even just be a hey after months or something like this but i do feel they are going to communicate with you and it could possibly be during um the virgo season or aries season okay so now your oracle cards call back your energy love yourself treat yourself own your power beautiful and perhaps you have done this okay perhaps you are standing into your divine feminine energy as this person sees you a uh, male or female it doesn't matter or perhaps you're standing into your masculine energy i do feel that you are 
someone who is aware of how to own your power, does look after yourself, does love yourself, and I feel this person is learning, or is someone who does that too. We also have new love, so this person could be feeling a deep sense of new love for you, if it's someone you've known for a while, and for others of you, I say this could be quite a new connection, okay, perhaps this is someone you've recently met. Wow, we have, excuse me, we have romantic feelings here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Beautiful, this person does want to explore this love, this growth opportunity here. They see you as someone who is an earth angel, again, male or female. Or perhaps you see this person as this energy, okay? But a very grounded energy, a very healing energy. Someone who um, really does lift up the energy when they walk into a room. I don't know what to do at the moment. I do, as I say, feel for some of you, your person is avoiding with work, okay? Um, they are perhaps at a crossroads right now. Perhaps some of them are trying to pull away from the connection as much as they want to rush towards the connection. There is that um, in and out energy, perhaps for some of you, okay? There is a little bit of confusion here. I am willing to fight for you now, beautiful. Like I say, this person wants to work on the connection. I do feel that here. What we have, Crossroads, that's interesting when it's, uh, I didn't realise that card was actually there. But yeah, we have, um, I don't know what to do when they are at a crossroads right now. Making this decision, okay, in which direction to take this forward. I am more aware now, beautiful. So they are more aware of owning their own power, loving themselves perhaps. Or of these feelings being real, okay. Then we have Don't Stop, you're exactly where you need to be. Change is coming for you, the wheel has spun in your favour this time. Don't give up. It's happening. Beautiful. And that's that beautiful image there. And we also had two for you, this group. And we have compass. Your old soul, your old soul knows the way. Allow the mind to be calm and quiet. You will feel that pull in the right direction. That is amazing because I do, you know, this person doesn't know what to do at the moment. There's this crossroads, but I do feel their energy coming towards you. I feel they are going to feel it deep within them, which direction to go, allowing for this loving feelings and romantic feelings to be expressed to you, who they ultimately see as this beautiful empress energy. They definitely see the potential within this connection. They see the magic here. We have started the reading with the lovers here. I do believe this person is going to feel that pull in your direction. You carry on doing you, loving yourself, treating yourself as this card suggests, okay, don't stop doing what you're doing, your person's going to be rising in their vibrations is what I feel here, and ultimately opportunity for you two to come together, and I am strongly feeling that it could be during the Virgo season for you, group number three. So that has been your reading, I hope it's been helpful for you, it's been lovely to read for you, thank you all so much for being here, I shall see you in another reading, take care, bye.